Sagittarius, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Your Perfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you a reading, my love. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a note. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. All right, please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Sag, if you found the message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you, love, or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay it, no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Sag, I thank you kindly. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you. Humbly and sincerely for your support of the channel. Sag, I feel like you're taking on a big project here. I ain't gonna lie. Um, coming into the energy. Um, not that you can't handle it, but it's going to, I think, take more um, either time or effort than you anticipated, okay? So be mindful of that. Make sure you have wiggle room, okay? Um, even when it comes to travel, if you know you know how long it takes to get there give yourself some extra time um yeah i just want to yeah definitely give yourself some extra time okay other than that coming into your energy it's definitely like a burst of freedom um I just i'm not going to take it anymore what comes to mind is like a, a patty a old patty labelle song you know um i like i gotta do this i gotta stir it up what i gotta beg or borrow i don't i'm not going to take it anymore that's kind of like your energy i'm not going to take it anymore you're so like you're just determined you're focused that could be why you're taking on like maybe a bigger project because you want bigger results you know um, doing bigger things because you want bigger results. You're making bigger moves. You want bigger results, um, even in terms of distance, which is why I said leave wiggle room because I think you're either traveling on a road that you haven't been on um, or you're traveling on a road that you haven't been on at this certain time. Like maybe the traffic is different. So leave some wiggle room, okay? All right, let's do your spread. We're pulling from uh, Visconti for you today, and you know these cards are huge, so I can't flip them. So we gotta kind of feel them out here. For Sagittarius, I know there's one here. I'm hearing here what you want, what I want. So this is probably where you are. Hold on. That's that one, hold on. And what you want. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right, uh, bottom of the deck, star energy, Aquarian energy, I love it. It's an energy of being in the limelight, center stage, ready to perform, doing your stuff, um, showing off your skills, what have you, okay? Where you are, what you want, remember? So let's talk about where you are. I have a, a king of swords here. Okay, so where you are is you're operating in truth and logic. You're operating straightforward. It may be a bit abrasive. So Sag, Sag, I love you. I'm just saying, come on, I love you. All right, just woo <laughs> But the truth can only be the truth. It can't be nothing but, you know. Unfortunately, people's feelings and emotions don't change facts. And that's kind of where you are. What you want, honestly, with the Six of Swords, is just peace, you know? Um, a peaceful existence in this thing called life. I, I don't want drama. I don't want toxicity. I don't want chaos. I don't want calamity. You know, that's what, you know, that's kind of what you, where, where you are. And you're, you're speaking it into existence. And I think you're ready to take this on because you're determined to get away from anything 
that you feel is toxic and have that peace, okay? I love the favor that's with you with the star. Beautiful growth here with uh, Hierophant energy, Taurian energy here, which is, you know, taking it to that next level, that next step. Even maybe in relationships, personal relationships, if you're like living together, maybe you're getting engaged. Or if you're engaged, you're getting married. Or if you're just dating, maybe you get serious. It's kind of like that next step um, of a commitment or that next step in life, you know? So that's beautiful growth. Look at the boomstick. H Hello? If you're new to my channel, the boomstick or the poom poom stick, because it don't matter to me, I don't discriminate. Hello? But that's passion and power and creativity. That's just uh divinely being given to you you know it's very fertile energy it births life changing events and abundant so you know great things are coming in and i am it's because i think that you're just you're tired you know you're tired you're tired of always having to prove yourself and always ending up the bad guy you know because you speak facts because you speak the truth now, granted, your delivery might be a little off. It might be the wrong time or it might be a little rough. Hold on. I'm grabbing a deck here. Hold on. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, you're, you're the, and you know, Sage, I love you, but we talk here. You know what I'm saying? Your delivery sometimes, you know, it is a little off and it sometimes is a little abrasive. However, it does not change uh, the fact that it's not true, you know, and I stand with you on that part. You know, you do speak facts. You do speak facts. All right, guys. We're going to see if we can get some meat and potatoes here. Maybe some details um, on this energy. We're doing your spread today with Vision Quest. All right. Can I have a center, please, for Sagittarius, who's at the core? Thank you so much. And I have a small medicine wheel and it's coming in reverse. And then I have the lovers. So whew. now uh, for this deck, the small medicine wheel is like the wheel of fortune. Okay. So we um, had been talking now for a few weeks about a turnout that, that worked and didn't work at the same time. You won, but you didn't win. You know, um, some of your uh, your your victories have been bittersweet. You know what I'm saying? They've been bittersweet um, because they were attached to conditions or um, even shunning. You know, I have to say that. Like, yeah, you won, but now nobody's talking to you. Or, yeah, you got that position at work, but none of the workers are, you know, uh, being kind to you or none of your coworkers are accepting you at that new role or position. You know, it's kind of like bittersweet. And um, so you may feel like, you know, unlucky, like lucky, but unlucky, you know, um, like you're being punished. That's how this feels. Like, you know, why am I being punished? Why is it my fault? Why, why am I going through this? That kind of thing. And unfortunately, that is the energy of Sagittarius right now. You're kind of going through some changes. Um, with I have to mention, I have to mention it. I love you, but I got to say it. Uh, I have to mention that karma is in the air. Okay, it is. I'm not saying you did. You said it's your fault. I'm not pointing no fingers. I'm saying it's in the air. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Um, with a uh, wheel of fortune coming in reverse, that means that it's kind of like uh, chance didn't favor anyone. It all depend on really what was what was put out. Does that make sense? It was based on effort. It was based on integrity. It was based on truth. Whatever had transpired, um, that's how this thing came uh, came out. Um, I do think that you are focused, like I said, on your divine path with those lovers at the bottom of the deck because you're focused on peace. You're focused on getting in alignment with what's truly yours. Now, this is Gemini energy here. It could be that you're focused on love itself or um, a, a, a relationship, you know, a companionship. The Ace of Airs coming in, giving you clarity, the Father of Earth, giving you stability, and then the stars here again. So, you know, again, I stand by my original statement. What's coming? for you is absolutely beautiful and right now you're you're 
proactive, like I said, you're speaking into existence, you're um, thinking logically, uh, you're proactive in making your life what it is, what, what you want it to be rather, you, you know, regardless to what the circumstances are saying or people are saying, things like that, okay? What's crowning this energy, please, for Sagittarius? And I have a five of water and I have it coming in reverse on top of your head. You know why? Because you don't, you know, you're over the regrets. I don't regret. I, I don't have no regrets. You, you know, that's how you feel. Like I, I have no regrets. It, it, you know, see, that's the thing with you, Sag, that people don't understand. I, I think it gets lost in translation. You know, when you are honestly operating in truth, even if it hurts their feelings, you don't give a F because again, feelings don't change facts. So no, you don't have any regrets. Now you may feel a little way about, you know, the loss or how things turned out uh, because it didn't have to be the way, it, the, it didn't have to go the way it did. However, um, you also know that you never initiated, you only reacted. You know, and that is nine times out of 10, how you feel. Uh, eight of wands at the bottom of the deck, eight of fire. So that's nine times out of 10, how you feel. You started making quick moves. You receiving, you, you started um, responding, you know, you're receiving downloads or maybe even some quick travel, whatever the case is. It's like, I'm gonna deal with this and I'm out of here. You know, I'm gonna deal with this and I'm gonna make a move. I'm gonna deal with this and bada bang, bada boom. You know, so that's hanging over your head because that's what you're pulling from to to give yourself the peace that you have inside until you can create peace on the outside, okay? Let's see what's working against you. What's in the way for Sagittarius, right? And I have the Six of Wands, and then I have Integrity. See, that's what I'm saying. It's a bittersweet victory, guys. It's bittersweet. I, I stand by that. I don't know what your situation is. You know, it's kind of like I won my court case and I don't know, lost custody of my child. It's bit like, you know, it's like crazy how this comes in. The win is just as big as the loss in, energetically for me as I'm reading it. So I don't know, again, your circumstances, but um, that's how it feels. That's why the success and victory is uh, the energy of it. It works against your energy because of the integrity that that's tied to it. Something is wrong here. Okay. I don't know what happened, but it's, um, it, you won, but you didn't win. I, I don't know how to say that. I really, I'm sorry. I, you know, you know, your situation. I'm tired of trying to figure it out. Damn it. All right. You know, you, Okay, where are we coming from with this? The seven of air, futility. You were pissed off to the highest of pissivity. That's what happened. Somebody pissed you off. All right, so yeah, and there's the world energy. So yeah, seven of air energy is an energy of deceit, deception, stealing, lying, um, people trying to get away with stuff, people uh, giving a half truth you know, partial information. And whatever happened in the past regarding those things, um, it affected your circumstances, your world, your personal world, okay? Either your home, your job, um, your balance, you know, or it didn't, what they did didn't allow you to close a cycle or bring something to completion. Like they kept it open and open and open and open, like let this shit go would you. So I can move on with my life, but their foolishness, um, like wouldn't let something die. You know, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? Let's see where we're going with this future energy, please for Sagittarius. Where are we going? Back to work. Eight of Earth is here. Two of Air. And I have the Mother of Water. Okay. Whew. All right. So let me just say that the Mother of Water has unconditional love, you know? And I a lot of times give reference to that energy as grandmom's uh, titties. You know, when you're a kid, and your grandmom, your mama, your, your mima, your nunu, your nana, pick one. It don't matter to me. If you had one, then you understand what I'm saying. But when you're a kid and you get a hug in between them titties, let me tell you, it don't matter if your parents threaten to throw you off the roof, you know you're safe. 
you know, you know, you're loved, you know, you're protected. Um, so I make reference to that energy because that's what it reminds me of. And I want you to get an idea of that love from the mother of water, from the queen of cups. Okay. Um, that love, it, it just knows no bounds. And even though people don't see it, you know, sometimes in you, um, they don't know how you struggle against that love in you. They don't know that it's hard for you to keep it under control because it has betrayed you so many times in life. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's kind of what you're working on when you say, I want peace. You kind of want to be in an environment where you are allowed to be that loving person that you are without the threat or, or feeling threatened of like being attacked all the damn time. Okay. Now, before I turn this over and we take this further, Sag, I have to say, guys, you know that first of all, you are secret squirrels. Okay. So you don't like people talking about your business. You don't talk about your business. You're very, you know, personal and I respect that. But sometimes things that you consider personal or things you consider an attack is not an attack. Okay. And then you don't realize it until you've already flipped the table. And then you, your apology, you apologize. You don't, you do take accountability. I give you that. But sometimes your apology is in private, you know, because you're secret squirrels, but their shame was public and you know it. I want to say that because we're going to go on. And I think that's where we're getting ready to go with that. The three of water, fullness, working together. Okay being on the same page, celebrating social events, things like that. That's what this represents. So you're working on healthier connections. Like I said, you want to be in a place where you can be, uh, you can tap into that, that mother of water in you, that love in you. Okay. You'll always be sad. You'll always be fire, but you got some water in there too. You got love. You know what I mean? You don't want to fight all the time. And that's hard for you making these connections. Like I just said, 10 of fire, 10 of wands energy. Okay. So you find yourself a lot of times walking away, eight of cups. Um, and God also provides movement for you, but you kind of choose another direction. Basically what is what I'm getting to with this spiritual water is Cancerian energy. It's chariot energy. So you don't have a say in the journey, but you do have a say in the destination. So I think that you find sometimes when it's hard for you to kind of relax and be yourself, you'll walk away and you call your Uber, you get on your prayers uh, and meditation and talk to your angels and you do get assistance because you are operating in an area or energy of defense, you know, which is fine. So that chariot comes, you choose a new destination, which is, I want to be happy. The sun energy. I want to be enlightened. I want to know what's going on and see the world. I want to be fulfilled. I want to be fulfilled in every area of my life with the sun. Okay. So you get new waters with the ace of water to maybe replenish or restore or even replace what you feel has been tainted. So if you feel that life has tainted that heart, these divine waters would come in and restore that, you know, with that ace of water. That gives you pleasure. Six of water here, that's forward moving energy. It's past life assistance and emotional stability and a, a balance. But now you have to figure out how to live because you've been so busy living in attack or in defense or in facts or in fire. Now it's like, how do I even exist in this world? Because I want to be this queen of water, operate, utilize this love, but who am I going to give it to? Because these mother lovers ain't worthy of what I got in me. You know what I'm saying? That's how you feel. So it shifts your perspective of things. Vision quest energy is Piscean energy, like the hangman. Okay. It shifts your perspective of what value is, what family is, what abundance is, you know, what stability is. All of those things start to shift and then you feel stuck. You know, you get stuck in your head so you can make another move. Here's the two of wands and you start doing it again, operating the truth, father of air. Here he is here, king of swords. You start, my point is that guys, I, I don't want this to turn into, um, 
the wheel that the, the things run on. You know? See? You find balance, you get hurt. I, I, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that. Uh, and I'm not even damn sad serious. Hello? So, um, we don't want to keep repeating this cycle. What we want to try to do is get to a place... You don't have a problem with getting to a place of peace and um, strong foundation and abundance and things like that. You have a problem maintaining it, okay? And I'm not saying, I'm not pointing fingers. I'm just saying for whatever reason, you know, either the drama follows you or the people change on you or whatever the case is. I think that's kind of what I would sh shift my focus to as a Sag. Focus on... Um, stability you know as opposed to always focusing on change because the change ain't working this is like somebody that keeps changing their clothes but didn't wash their ass they, they're gonna stink eventually it's gonna come through you know what i'm saying i don't like it and i love you guys and you know i do but we got to work on something here. I know you guys are free now. So just, I don't know, keep this in mind when you're trying to make these new connections. Um, try to make sure that they, I guess I would say, are like you. You know, that they're secret squirrels too. That they're hard workers too. That they're passionate too. Um, that they love deeply too before you um, commit. You know, before you, uh, I guess, um, let your boundaries down, okay? And that way, you'll know if you do have to walk away, you don't feel at least, you know, betrayed by life again. Because I don't want you to feel like that. Like it's just over and over and over again, okay? All right, guys, I hope this helps. I'm sorry, I, it went a little long today. If any event, um, you said green eyes, you know, you don't even know me, okay? I don't know you, and this is not my life. I'm okay with that. Check your moon or rising. Don't take the energy with you if it's not for you. Leave it here for another Sag, okay? Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It's free, and it does support the channel. Now, if you're interested in daily content, I do a daily energy readings at Boomstick Level Energy Membership. Jump on board. That's where you want to be involved uh, if you're looking for a place uh, to, you know, nurture and grow um, and edify in spirit. Uh, definitely, it's a good place to be, okay? Other than that, guys, remember, we, we, not you, not me, but we, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.